Hello everyone, this is Levi Sheridan and in this video I'll be making some more aluminum 40 32 ingots. The reason I have not been melting and pouring recently was because this was my crucible. It's obviously not in a great condition and that's because I was not careful or gentle with it. I heated it up and cooled it down in rapid succession about 20 times over 20 pours and this is what it looks like now and I'm worried that if I use it, it will not end up well. So uh, I went to order some new ones, but unfortunately the company that makes these specifically for the furnace I have, uh, they said they were on back order. So I'm waiting at least another week. Uh, but in the meantime, I got this possible suitable replacement that I'm gonna be trying today uh, off of eBay. It's slightly larger in the height uh, and it's slightly smaller in diameter, but it does fit in my crucible or rather in my furnace. So that's good. The walls are slightly thinner, which is maybe of concern, so I probably won't be able to use this as many times, but hopefully by the time this deteriorates to this condition, I'll have a few more of these uh, in the mail. Uh, but with that aside, let's get going and uh, let's melt some aluminum. So this ingot mold holds about 75 to 80 grams of aluminum. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out about 100 grams, uh, and that should be enough for us to pour and uh, make sure it gets filled all the way. So I'm gonna put the crucible on the scale, center it and tear it. And then I'm gonna weigh out roughly 100 grams. And uh, these are what the pieces look like mostly. I have another video where I talk about this aluminum, but it's basically uh, from a car wheel off of a scrap yard in Chicago. And it's actually pretty, uh, it's a pretty good alloy for what I'm doing. It's one of a few aluminum alloys specifically designed for casting. Uh, and many people say to me that Aluminum is not great for casting, which is true. Uh, in fact, most of them are, are really bad for casting, but this one has been specifically engineered uh, for this purpose. So uh, that's good. Uh, it is used in things like casted pistons and obviously car wheels because that's where I got this from. And from my personal experience, like I've, I've had very little issues with flow and other things of the sort because it does have such a high silicone content it also has really good uh, high temperature properties and low thermal, uh, low coefficient of thermal expansion. Uh, but that's 100 grams in there. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and melt it down now and uh, we'll see what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and put the crucible into the furnace. It's not designed for this furnace, like I said, but it does fit, which is nice. And hopefully uh, everything goes smoothly. But I'm gonna close it up and get it going and we'll start to melt the metal. It's literally that easy to turn it on. Uh, the current temperature is 72 degrees Fahrenheit inside and we're gonna set it to 1325. This furnace shoots over a little bit. The pit eventually does kind of get to the point but for the amount of time I'm keeping in there, typically it shoots over about 25 degrees and I want it to be about 1300. So I'm gonna keep it at 1325 and we'll come back uh, in about 30 to 45 minutes. Once it's heated up, we'll check in on it and we'll, uh, we'll add some borax and then, and then pour it into the mold. So it's been about 20 minutes since I've turned on the furnace and I took a look and it does seem like it's starting to melt and I wanna give it a little poke uh, just to kind of get an idea of where it's at. So I'm going to heat up my graphite stirring rod uh, just so it's warm uh, when I stick it in. And uh, we'll take a look at how it's looking right now. The aluminum has been in the furnace for about 35 minutes now, and I believe it's ready to pour. So I'm going to heat up the graphite mold with my torch, and uh, then we'll put some we'll put some of the borax into the molten aluminum uh, before we pour it, and then we'll pour it.
This is the ingot immediately after the pour, and it looks pretty good. There is a surface finish. It's uh, slightly rough, and it formed a few seconds after the pour. I could see these little bubbles forming on the surface, and uh, I think it's fine, it looks nice. Uh, but I'm gonna let this cool just naturally in the air. I'm not gonna quench it until it's cooled for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna let it do that and then I'll come back and uh, we'll, we'll dump it in the water. Looks pretty good. Here is the ingot after the quench. It looks pretty similar to the ingots I've produced in the past. I still have yet to figure out why I can't get a sharp 90 degree edge all the way around, even though there's clearly a sharp edge there, uh, even though uh, everything else is uh, has a nice radius. It doesn't really matter, like these aren't cosmetic, but it'd be cool uh, to just make a nice, real clean ingot, nice 90 degree edges. But in general, this looks really good. Uh, the surface finish is all right. A few little bubbles. I took a look at the footage of the pour and you can kind of see the, the little bubbles forming as it cools, which is interesting. The sides look pretty nice. And the bottom has that characteristic little divot in it. But in general, it's a nice little ingot. I'm gonna give it away so we can figure out what our pouring yield was and how much uh, actually stayed left over in the crucible. But this is the ingot. I think I'm going to uh, actually try to do some T6 hardening or annealing uh, over the next few days with this specific ingot in my uh, burnout oven. Uh, but I'll, I'll be making a video about that when that happens, but I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this and we can figure out some more stuff. If you can recall, we put 102 grams of aluminum inside the crucible before we poured it. We can see how much was poured out and how much stayed in just by measuring the weight of the ingot. So we have 88 grams, meaning there were a total of 14 grams left over in the crucible, which is pretty good uh, return on the pour. Uh, the aluminum's still in the crucible, obviously, but the more we can pour out, the better that is. Uh, but yeah, so this is the ingot. Like I said, I'm probably gonna do some more experiments with this because I wanna do things like annealing and hardening with my uh, casted engine parts so that I can uh, have a higher success uh, with that and possibly use those uh, skills and techniques for future complicated projects. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, learned something new. This is Levi Sheridan. Have a nice day.